Hey guys, uh, Chris here again, and um, today I'm going to be doing a quicker, more straight to the point, detailed video about which parts on the Aritech Kimber are steel and which are not. Um, first, originally when I bought it, I was under the impression that it was full steel. It was advertised as full steel. Um, from the time that I ordered it to the time that I actually got it, I, uh, I found out that some parts were not steel. And then after some more research, I found out that some other parts weren't steel, etc, etc. So um, today I'm just going to go over the gun, same as before, front to back top to bottom, I'll try to stick to that this time, uh, and tell you which parts are steel and which are not, and also uh, kind of telling you which parts uh, match the real one material-wise, if it's steel and whatnot. So to my help, I have my uh, NeoCube um, Neodyne magnets that I'm going to be placing on the gun. So. Uh, where you should find out which parts are steel. Or actually, which parts are magnetic steel, I should say, because some parts are stainless, not magnetic steel, and those I will, or I have determined are steel, just by look and feel and the, uh, the sound of the parts. So, let's get to it. Let me just take some new cube balls off here uh, well that went well <laughs> pretty powerful these things so let's try to do this without having the magnets all over okay um, let's start with the front sight let me just place a magnet there uh, sticks so that's magnetic steel and then we have the rear sight sticks so that's magnetic steel uh, let's see I want to put it on the slide somewhere where it doesn't scratch so let's put it right there so front side rear side actual slide are magnetic steel so three for three so far let's flip it over now originally I Well, mother fuck. Sorry about that. Um, an alarm went off on my um, iPhone, which I had set to uh, prevent me from running out of uh, time on the video here. Anyway, um, where was I? Yes, the um, chamber and our barrel. I'm going to field strip this later on, but um, originally when I put a magnet there, it sticks. But uh, I found out after taking it apart that uh, it's actually sticking to something on, uh, on the internal inner barrel and hop-up assembly. So the actual outer barrel and chamber are not magnetic steel, but they are stainless steel, not magnetic. Okay, so that's it for the top parts. Um, slide, uh, sights, and, uh, well, chamber. Uh, let's take a look at the let's see if I can get a good decent angle on that uh, barrel bushing and recoil plug and recoil spring guide rod uh, the bushing is magnetic steel and the recoil spring guide rod and plug are non-magnetic stainless steel so the magnets uh, do not stick to those uh, next up we have the slide catch uh, fortunately it is steel um, uh, definitely needed to uh, lock the slide back and uh, prevent it from breaking off and uh, let's see yeah we also have the extractor down there or at the back of the slide and that is also magnetic uh, steel uh, so now we get to the uh, kind of disappointing part of this gun. Um, 
when Orientech initially launched this pistol, they had a video where it was laid out on their um, classic uh, pool table and uh, pointed to the gun and said, uh, uh, everything is steel, All everything you see is steel. And specifically, you know, going like uh, up and down here at the back. Problem with that is none of the parts here are steel. They're all uh, stock aluminum KJW parts. So the hammer, sorry, uh, obviously not magnetic since it's aluminum. Uh, same with the grip safety, magnet does not stick, standard KJW MEU um, uh, aluminum material there, and the same with the other side of course. Um, thing, same thing with the uh, grip safety and mainspring housing. Uh, the only thing on there that is magnetic steel is the lanyard loop. Uh, to uh, prevent it from breaking if you actually were to use that thing. Um, again, the... What the... Where the hell did that magnet go? Oh. <laughs> uh, same thing with the um, magazine release button and the screw. None of those are steel. Uh, the trigger is aluminum, but the, it's also aluminum on the uh, real Kimber. Uh, I forgot to, to tell you, but obviously the trigger, uh, thumb safety, grip safety, and mainspring housing are actually steel on the real one. Some Kimber models have aluminum or even plastic, no, actually I think it's plastic, sorry, mainspring housings, but this one is kind of a, uh, what do you call it, premium model, so it has the steel mainspring housing. Uh, just for the hell of it, let's take a look at the grip screws, and those are actually steel, so that is nice. And I don't know, probably don't have to check the other side, but let's do that anyway. Uh, yep, yeah. so um, you know, um, that was kind of disappointing for me finding out that. Um, all of the control parts back here were, were not steel. Um, you can obviously upgrade them with Nova parts, but it's uh, kind of expensive. Um, I think I actually bought steel Nova steel parts for all of this, and uh, I think it came at something like 400 or 450 dollars uh, for all the parts. So, so that's quite a lot of money, considering that the uh, base gun is 850 to begin with. Uh, but you know, if you if you're not bothered by it and you don't need it to look like the real steel, uh, in reference to my other video here, you you know, at least all of the parts are metal. It's not like they're stock Marui plastic parts, which would have been even more terrible. But uh, let's just drop the magazine here. Um, I'm just going to remove these magnets from here, trying to not scratch it up too badly so the other thing about this uh, being that the slide and frame are steel um, it's quite heavy and you're just gonna put a lot of stress and wear on the uh, excuse me internals of the gun so I actually emailed uh, RA Tech and asked them specifically about the internals and they told me uh, in an email that the internals were all steel so that felt reassuring but uh, given that the fact that I had found out that some other parts weren't steel um, I was kind of skeptic and so let's uh, field strip this and take a look at the internal parts and see what they're made of actually I'm not sure why I'm disassembling the slide, yeah, that's right. I was going to show you the uh, blowback unit here, or the blowback housing, as some people call it. That is also aluminum stock KJW parts, and as you can see, I already have quite a bit of wear on this uh, bump right here, 
which is what makes contact with the the hammer when the slide goes back and forth and obviously you know replacing the hammer with the steel one it's not going to improve uh, exactly so I wouldn't expect this part to last very long uh, I did purchase a um, an airsoft surgeon blowback housing uh, it was not a drop-in fit so I haven't put that in there but I think that's a little bit tougher aluminum in there but you know probably it's also going to wear down so uh, I guess I forgot to mention this before when I was going over the parts but the fake or actually not fake but the um, um, dummy firing pin there uh, I think that's also non-magnetic stainless steel uh, so when I was talking about the internals I'm actually uh, talking about the disconnector right there on the right hand, uh, right hand side the um, valve uh, gas reset knocker when the valve hits the magazine and the slide goes back pushes down on that which then resets the valve knocker to stop the release of gas uh, I'm not going to disassemble the whole uh, lower to to show you this but I actually had it apart and I checked out the parts uh, and I tried to scratch them with a screwdriver and they scratched very easily and very deep scratches so those are in fact stock KJW aluminum internals which is fairly uh, actually very disappointing and um, you know considering that they told me in the email that the internals were all steel uh, obviously that is not the case and I'm not going to be able to get any good camera angle here but the valve knocker is also um, aluminum KJW stock part uh, so that's another you know hundred dollars or so if you want to replace those airsoft surgeon makes um, these in steel and shooters design make the valve knocker in steel uh, and also uh, again with the heavy steel slide going back and forth I was hoping that the guide rails on the internal frame here was going to be steel uh, I'm sorry <laughs> steel uh, <laughs> but it's not it's a stock uh, KGW aluminum part so you know um, if you're going to shoot this a lot and put a lot of wear and tear on it uh, you're probably going to have to stock up on replacement KGW parts for uh, some of these things um, because I do believe it's going to wear down fairly quickly you know if you if you actually use this gun I know a lot of people just buy it for display which is fine uh, but um, yeah just be aware of that that those parts are not steel um, I think that's it um, the pins here are steel not really a big deal but uh, I do believe that they are steel and uh, yeah let's take a closer look uh, at the uh, stainless uh, steel parts here that I told you about um, something I noticed for some reason I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to capture that on camera but there's uh, they advertise the outer barrel as being CNC steel and uh, the chamber here certainly looks to be molded of some sort you know there there's a seam line right there and uh, the overall finish looks kind of um, bumpy so I'm not sure if that's actually CNC'd or if it's uh, uh, mold uh, done in a mold but the the actual outer barrel does appear to be CNC'd stainless steel so that's nice uh, and again the recoil spring guide rod and plug appear to be stainless steel uh, you know I can't confirm this hundred uh, percent there are a couple of different methods of doing it but I don't have um, the technology available to determine it but there's certainly 
not aluminum, you know. So, yeah, I do believe that those are steel. And the uh, recoil spring is also magnetic steel. So I guess that's it. Um, or actually, no. Uh, the pop-up um, housing here, or chamber, and not steel. And uh, what I think the magnet is sticking to right there is probably the the hop up arm or something in, in the internals here that is steel but the main housing of the hop up unit is uh, also aluminum stock kjw part oops um so yeah that is it for the steel parts um guess it took a little longer than i had hoped but uh it's certainly shorter than the one hour video that I uploaded over four parts. I guess a lot of people don't really have the time and patience to sit through those to find out uh, the details of this. So that's why I'm making uh, a couple of shorter videos here for you. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.